Let's recite verse 1 together. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. I'll be sharing another IAM from Tang Zoo and this time it's in collaboration with Divinus, which is an audio company based in Korea and they're mostly famous for their ear tips accessory, which I'll elaborate more later and together with Tang Zoo, they've given birth to this, a one dynamic driver with two balanced armature IAM called the Fudu Verse 1, even though it's actually pronounced as Dufu, if you really want to pronounce it right, but I'm keeping it as Fudu for the rest of the video. Tang Zoo is keeping its tradition in naming their IEMs after famous Chinese figures and this IEM is based off Du Fu which was a Chinese poet and politician during the Tang Dynasty so let's see if this poet can cradle me to audio bliss with its recitals or will it be like listening to a politician I don't even know what that means but before I begin I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Andy from Melvin Chai Fi Audio for sending this item for my feedback this is a loner unit so I'll be returning them back to him after I'm done but I'm still grateful for the opportunity and you can check out Melbourne Chai Fi Audio for all Chai Fi related audio gears. If you've been enjoying my content, a like to the video and a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. Now that's all out of the way, let's talk about the unboxing experience and Tang Zoo excels in this category because it's an experience in itself. Opening the box, you'll be greeted by the IMs in the middle, either side housing the ear tips and the carrying pouch. Yep, you heard me a carrying pouch instead of the usual carrying case that comes with the planar IAMs, which are more expensive. I mean, this is an $89 package compared to that $200 package, but this pouch will do the job. Instead of the pouch, you've got the cable, which looks the part. I mean, it's just all black and it feels fine. It's not something I'd go crazy over, but at least it looks sleek. I personally just use the cable from the heyday because it just feels more premium compared to the stock cable. Now we get to the most exciting part of this package, the ear tips. So you've got a set of ear tips from Tang Zoo, which is their own Tang San Chai, and a set of ear tips from Divinus, which at first glance looks like some ordinary silicon ear tips. And I was guilty of brushing that off myself in my initial impression. And then I researched about these and realized that these are $25 ear tips. Yes, this ear tips set is more expensive than some budget IEMs. So together with the Tang San Chai, the ear tips alone make up for a third of the price of this entire package. And that just makes this entire package very competitive in price. So let's explore why are these ear tips so special compared to stock silicon ear tips. I've talked about the Tang San Chai in my Chang Le video, but if you haven't heard of the San Chai, let's talk about them because the design itself is easily distinguishable with its textured like surface and colored base. These textures look like it would help grip your ears better, but for my ears personally, I didn't get the tightest of seals, but it still makes for a very comfortable fit. For the Divinus ear tips, one of its design characters characteristics that help separate it from typical silicon ear tips is around the nozzle where on the divinus there are these groove edges and they call this set the velvet ear tips because of how smooth it is and while it doesn't look any different from afar when you wear these it does contour to your ears ever so slightly and with the size of the fudu it just glides in and sits on your ears and for my ears personally the divinus velvet ear tips makes it a very comfortable fit and I can understand why these ear tips are so highly sought after. Damn, I want a set of these now. I know I'm gushing a lot about ear tips, but credit where credit is due and accessories make part of the experience. And this, like the Dunu SNS ear tips, makes me excited about a package. Okay, let's move on. The design of the IEMs themselves are clean, neat and simple. You've got a triangle shape in the middle of the faceplate with the Divinus and Tangzu wording on either side. And there's a bit of texture around it. It's a dark gray, smoky shell, so you can kind of see the dynamic driver peeking through. It's sleek and I actually like how simple this looks and it looks classy from afar. But looking closer, the faceplate is glued to the shell and it leaves this really hard edge on the sides of the IEMs. And it does have an impact on fit and comfort because depending on what ear tips you use, if the IEMs are resting on your ears, you feel the sides and a bit of that texture, which is a little rough, which isn't as comfortable as IEMs with smooth edges. It's not a huge deal breaker for me, but I can imagine this being an issue for some people. Let's talk about sound. For bass, it's really ear tip dependent. I'm using the SpinFit W1, and that's the one that's giving me the best seal with Fudu. And when all is right, man, do you get a very punchy and impactful bass presentation. The bass note is full bodied, meaty and rounded. There's some rumble coming in from the deep end to give that bass note a little bit of that 
texture. Tangzu is taking what they've learned from the Wu Zetian and applying it on the dynamic driver, and it is glorious. But there's also a reason why you're getting all that impact and slam. Let's talk about mid range because for mid range, the overall presentation is quite on the forward side. So the sound, it sounds very close to you. It's a literal in ear experience, and it helps with a few aspects of the sound, like getting that bass slam close to you so you feel its strength. There's some warmth carrying through from the lower frequencies, giving vocal note a bit of that weight and fullness. Vocals still stand in front of the background music, but depending on certain tracks, it can get a little shouty for me personally. So if your tracks are about soft whispering like vocals, or you like listening to your music at very low levels, then this is going to sound sweet, but anything more can get a bit much. For treble, there's enough treble highs to give you the illusion of an open sound, Though I put a mild caution for treble sensitive people, there's some treble extensions as well and air instruments like trumpets get that open, airy and powerful sound to their note. I can imagine this being fatiguing for some people depending on how much treble you can withstand, especially when they're all so closed in on you. So it brings enough to the table but it comes at a cost. And unless you're spiritually and mentally built like a tank, you're going to need a break between sessions. For technicality due to how forward the presentation sounds, it just sounds really closed in. There's macro details coming through, bass details, not a lot of micro details, which I guess they're compensating that by bringing the presentation forward so some of those micro nuances can be heard. You can hear positions of sounds between the left and right channel, but as mentioned earlier, it's all coming at you all at once, from the bass to the vocals to the treble. And I personally need a breather between listening sessions because it's just right in my face, or in this case, right in my ears, that I sometimes just go shh, 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 just give me some space, please. So I'm testing the sound of the Fudu bass on the spin fits to see if I swapped with their own Tang San Chai or the Venus ear tips. Will I get a different experience apart from just fit and comfort? And the most notable difference came from the Tang San Chai where it helped open up the sound a little bit, but there is a small sacrifice on the bass so it sounds a little bit flatter compared to the Divinus or W1 ear tips. But both the Tang San Chai and Divinus ear tips still don't solve the one issue I had with its presentation, which is that very closed in presentation. However, if I had to pick between the two ear tips for the Fudu verse one specifically, I'd actually go with the Tang San Chai. But if you want a more engaging presentation and don't mind the closeness, then the Divinus ear tips will suit that preference better. For power, I'm getting to about 9 o'clock on the dial on my hi an EF400 on the 4.4mm balance termination, but I sometimes need to get to about 8 just to give myself some space, but I do lose some of that treble and bass weight as a result. So to sum it all up, when it comes to value for money for the Fudu verse 1, I think you're getting the most bang for your buck depending on how much you value ear tips, which I personally think is important as part of the overall experience. However, I feel the excitement I had for the IEM sound do not match up to the excitement I had for the ear tips themselves. I still think it's a decent attempt at a hybrid tuned IEM. It ticks some boxes, but I feel its ambition is limited by the amount of drivers in this IEM, and their decision to compensate for that resulted in the thing that stood out like a sore thumb. But if this is an indication of what's to come for Tangzu's upcoming flagship, I'm truly excited for it, so long as they improve from this. However, given the choice on what I'd go for for sound, for my own personal sound preference, I'd still go with Tangzu's planar options, but I wish Tangzu and Divinus sells their ear tips in a collaboration pack because it should be in everyone's ear tip rolling options. However, this is based on one man's experience and I'm curious to know yours. Would you be picking the Fudu verse 1 or what is your favorite Tangzu IM to date? Comment below, let me know, and once again, thank you to Andy from Melbourne Chi-Fi Audio and to all of you for watching. Until the next experience, take care and happy listening.